YouTube and welcome to your 20th JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be learning about something called date and time in JavaScript. In the 19th tutorial, or in the last tutorial, we created a simple clock which gets incremented with the help of set interval function every second. In this tutorial, we'll be creating, uh, or basically, we'll be knowing what is date and time in JavaScript and how dates and time work in JavaScript. Before starting with the tutorial, I would like you to introduce a bit to the history of time and date in JavaScript. Now, JavaScript has actually a certain base time, which is 1 Jan 1970 and the midnight. Now, basically, the clocks of JavaScript are set on this time and the number of seconds basically are counted from this time in the Unix time step. By this, I mean, okay, let me first create an object right here. I'll show you what did I tell you right now. And let's supply the date as 1 Jan 1970 and the base time as the midnight. And I guess I didn't open the Chrome today. tutorial and open with Chrome oh I guess I just closed the window and here you go and if we try to inspect element this uh, let's console log dot get time I'll explain in a while what they are just showing you what did I mean by that base time if I try to view it in console we get this number now what this number is this is the Unix timestamp format now the clocks of JavaScript are basically set on this number and if we try like if we try to get the date in millisecond say one two three four five and we get day dot get day and if we refresh this we get four maybe or let's make it a more technical get full year I'll explain all these methods right now 1970 this this Unix timestamp is somewhere in the 1970 and if I do like create a really big number or maybe bigger than this whoa and bigger than this whoa and bigger than this and finally we get to 29 okay so let me introduce you to the date object to create a date in JavaScript what we do is we type the variable to hold the date object and we do new date and in the parenthesis you can supply your own date to be passed as a new date but if you just leave the parenthesis then this date object would hold the recent or the current date now let's try to console log each of its main property this string would give us a long string of date containing all the useful values and let's try to write fast all the methods month and let's console log date dot get date then we have date dot get hours then we get date dot get minutes and you have guessed now what I'm going to write get seconds and you have already guessed now what I'm going to write date.get what is say that milliseconds and then finally again let's write down that function I use right now get time and let's try to run this in a console okay pretty good we see date returns a long string of date containing all the values my time zone the time the date the month the day the date year all that 
that stuff. Get full year returns as 2015, which is currently right now. Get month returns as 2. Now what does that mean is 0 stands for Jan, 1 for Feb, and like so on. Indexing starts from 0 as usual. Get month, uh, we have discussed, get date. Now get date actually starts with one actually, no zero indexing here, we don't have any zero date. So today is actually 26 March and it returns as 26. Get hours returns 12, it's 12 right here now. Get minutes 3, get seconds 32 and get milliseconds 57. Okay, so this program actually ran into console at the exact time 12, 3, 32, and 57. This is the exact time when this program ran into this. Remember, we have milliseconds from 0 to 999. Now, this stuff right here gives us the number of seconds or kind of milliseconds pass. Now this stuff right here, this number is the number of seconds and the last three digits are the number of milliseconds passed. And this is basically the Unix timestamp and this this number would overflow in somewhere around 2038 when the Unix timestamp would crash. And this is referred as kind of new Y2K problem, the new bug. I'll explain this in the next tutorial what is this and trust me this is very interesting. So this was all about important stuff regarding date object and using all these methods and there are a lot 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 more methods than just these ones. If you want to learn all of them you can go to Mozilla Developers Network and look at them and they are not much of useful but using these all these methods you can technically do everything you want to do with date. So this tutorial was about date and time in JavaScript and I hope you like the tutorial and don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, happy dating.